Hi, this is Tasha. In this segment, we're addressing resistance because that seems to be the biggest drawback in us moving forward. Resistance is actually a separation from truth. When you feel fractured, it's natural to protect yourself. But there are many ways of working with resistance. Working with resistance instead of fighting resistance is simpler than you think. Because resistance uses a tremendous amount of energy. Most humans have been conditioned in a world of resistance that messes up the core relationship within themselves. When the energies are in alignment with your connection to your source energy, that's when the resistance just steps aside. Social conditioning is only part of living and that is necessary. But the thing is we only know social conditioning alone that represents resistance. Resistance to additional knowledge is then established because we've been conditioned and controlled so much. So to overturn resistance, intuition is awakened. Indigenous cultures cultivated their tribes to overcome resistance by connecting them with the earth spirit. Earth soul and spirit embraces us when we take our time to know it. A physical feeling of closing the gap of physical and non-physical, which is your energy and body merging with life on earth, because we rely completely on the earth element. Without air, we would die immediately. Without water, we can last maybe a few days, perhaps a week. Without food, we can last a few days, a week, maybe two. And that is it. So we're totally committed to being on earth and interacting with earth, but we've never done that. So this creates resistance as well. Expansion exploration is the bridge between your body and your soul. Just going with the flow of ordinary thinking is the greatest turn off from life. We are conditioned also in counseling and teaching and massage services to force change. In other words, it's done to us. We are told what to do, what to think, when to think. What, whatever we do, we are controlled in every step. So let's redefine life and give it a new perspective. When you are provided any form of training, whether it's personal development, massage or counselling, it is done to us. It is convincing us another way of doing things. And then there is a shift, but it's a temporary shift. Do keep in mind that this is my observation from my official trainings in every aspect of life. So I wanted to get more out of helping you. Therefore, I researched even further. Every client I work with, I look deeper, especially within myself. Often. I feel just done to and manipulated when I seek any kind of service. The therapists were very well qualified working within the parameters of the accepted service principles. So they're all trying to make us fit in to that framework that's been set up for us, but we don't all fit in there, in fact none of us do. They, the therapist fits in there, and within that framework there has to be a tremendous amount of flexibility to help that person, the client, to move into their own space of accepting and merging with the new essences that are awakened within them. And this works extremely well for the average person if you're being controlled, if you're seeking a qualified therapist, but not for a person that wants to take charge of their life and get out of the basic living. But I know there is so much for the person who was on the path exploring their purpose in life and how our body and mind fits into this new world and how it feels, fits into the world of disconnect. Both brains need to be connected for true experiences to be expressed and felt. What is necessary for good health and healthy relationships is merging of the left and right brains and merging of the brain of the people you're working with and speaking with 
rather than just giving them data and information and fighting for position. With merging of the left and right hemispheres comes collaboration, understanding, support and appreciation. Both hemispheres are designed to be active and interactive with one another. However, when you're in repetitive behaviour, know that you have exchanged one set of habits for another. If you're looking for therapy, that's you're switching another repetitive behaviour for another, for a different type of yet repetitive behaviour that controls you. But you're seeking to grow here. We all have ability to expand our consciousness, make our life greater and easier. Purpose is clearer because you can see what you could not see before. When you're connected with your intuition, you let go of repetitive behaviours. Repetitive behaviours do not serve you or your relationships. You become aware of what works for you and what separates you. Repetitive behaviour creates a different puppet but remains the puppet in someone else's paradise. Experience the divine pleasures of life and rejuvenation that embrace this every aspect of your life, not just survival, will melt away limiting beliefs. First and foremost, debunking this disinformation. Explore higher levels of applying beneficial applications to every aspect of your life. Assessment of higher distinctions of how you apply as opposed to robotic techniques. The food you eat and how they affect you and the ability to connect are a principal foundation of all these sessions that we have because they represent our life and our connection on earth. More on the next session. Thank you for listening. This is Tasha and I'll talk to you soon.